A guilty verdict in the case of the man who started a cult in his daughter's college dorm. Lawrence Ray was convicted on federal sex trafficking and extortion charges and now could face life in prison. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here with more. Dick. Christina Maurice, there are so many questions surrounding this case. How did Lawrence Ray manage to fool everyone? He somehow moved on to the campus of a prestigious university, controlling the lives of well educated students, taking their money and their dignity. One group that didn't buy his story a jury. Fifteen times Lawrence Ray heard the word guilty on federal charges including extortion, sex trafficking and racketeering. Jurors finding he abused and brainwashed young people under his spell. He used violence, threats and psychological abuse to try to control and destroy their lives. He exploited them. He terrorized them. He tortured them. Prosecutors say it began back in 2010 when Ray moved into his daughter's dorm at Sarah Lawrence College in Bronxville. That led to the cult like controlling of the lives of her friends, forcing one into prostitution, threatening another with a hammer. Let me be very clear Larry Ray is a predator, an evil man who did evil things. Today's verdict finally brings him to justice. The 62 year old Ray also extorted hundreds of thousands of dollars from the students. Ray's lawyers argued his followers were well educated from privileged backgrounds and that they followed him voluntarily and could come and go as they pleased. The jury didn't buy it. Does this verdict surprise you? Oh, not at all. This, uh, this defendant was the master manipulator. Legal expert David Schwartz says with four of his former followers testifying against Ray, this was not a tough case for the jury, which only deliberated about four hours. Cases where you have so many victims and so many victims able to come forward and testify and testify about the horror that they went through, that is why there was a verdict so quickly in this case. Ray is scheduled for sentencing in September. He faces the possibility of life in prison on his sex trafficking conviction and decades behind bars on the other counts. An accused co-conspirator will be tried separately. Maurice. Dick, thank you.